What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and J family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, J. And we back with, with another, another reaction video. video. What's going on, y'all? Welcome mm -hmm. back to the channel, man. We appreciate everybody coming back, returning. Yes, yes, you guys. We appreciate you guys so, so much. And I just want to let you guys know that God is good. Yes, he is. Um, we are so blessed, and I'm just, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful. 100% thankful. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you guys are thankful, too. Yes. I'm saying it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... What are we going to do today? Who are we reacting to? We are reacting to a comedian by the name of Brandy Denise. Brandy Denise. I never heard of Brandy right, Denise. Brandy I heard Denise. of Brandy, though. You know, you we know ain't what? talking about the liquor. In case y'all alcoholics out there thought I was talking about liquor. We're talking about Brandy the Senior. Oh. You, you know what? <laughs> oh. But anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the name of the comedy skit? The comedy skit is... What it's like to be a hot social worker. Mm. Hot as far as like having the fan on, like That's, the menopause. Like I'm, I'm hot, hot right now. Like that type of hot? Yes. Okay. Not, not like looking good hot. I have no idea. Okay. Well, let's find out together. You said hot like menopause? <laughs> like, what? You know how people in menopause may be hot? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be burning up for nothing. they be... 20, negative 20 degrees outside. But anyway, let's jump into it. But before we do, everybody that's oh. out there who has not yet subscribed to that channel. Oh. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Turn your phone notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. Yes. And comment down below, baby. Down below. Come and join the squad, man. Half and Jay. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot. We over here kicking it off. What? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. baby. Good, Good vibes. vibes. Boom. You're it's hot, the material. But you're not a social worker. All right. <laughs> Y'all been watching the war? <laughs> <laughs> Who up? Like, no, because, like, who up? Because, like, you know, last time I checked, Russia was up. But then, like, I don't know, Ukraine. I don't know. Like, it's just a lot of stuff going on. Don't nobody be watching the news no more. You just watch TikTok. It's crazy. Like, we just watch TikTok. Like, but my friend, uh, one of my homeboys, he got a little money, so he watched the news. People with money watch the news. Um, <laughs> he called me not too long ago, and he was like, Brandy, do you know that we in a food shortage? I was like... No, I got food in my house right now. I ain't know. Like, <laughs> I did not know. That's crazy. Like, uh, he was like, yeah, I've been looking for Rice Krispie treats for four months. I'm like, shit, Rice Krispie. That's crazy. Like, I would have never known that. I eat Captain Crunch. So, like, that's, I don't know. Like, I would have never known that. But shit's going on and we're being distracted. Like, presidents falling off bikes. TikTok dancing. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck is going on. Boom, boom, boom. Shots fired. Right, boom. Duh. Right. They shooting outside. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Y'all know who that was a shot at. We ain't even got to say that. Right. <laughs> Unless you ain't been watching the news. <laughs> Ooh, that was, remember we re we did a reaction to that. We sure too. did. Mm. That's a damn shame. That. But shit's going on and we're being distracted. Like presidents falling off bikes, TikTok <laughs> dances coming up. We don't know what the fuck is going on. And so like we need to start paying attention. Like there's a food shortage. There's also an epidural shortage. There's also a baby formula shortage. Just like what the fuck? Like what? Ooh, conspiracy theory music. <laughs> like this shit is like for real. They trying to take us out and we don't know because we at home like this editing. <laughs> do it again, mama, do it again. Doing it in slow motion. No, do it again. Pause it. Ready back to reset. Right. We ain't not trying to do that. We don't even know. They out here taking stuff away, especially ladies. They taking our rights. Like, how you gonna take away abortion and epidural? So that means like I gotta have the baby, then you ain't gonna relieve no pain for me having the baby, and then you ain't got no baby formula for me to feed the baby that I didn't even want to have. Like, what? what? Like, what? Make it make sense. They like that baby gonna die anyway. It just ain't gonna be on us. You feel me? Like, fuck. 
got bodies on me. This is crazy. I hate it. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. I, so, I've been getting ready for the war. <laughs> oh, that's because the shit's happening, okay? I've been getting ready, for real. I went to the Army Surplus store. <laughs> I was in that bitch with a checklist, you feel me? Yeah. I was like, yeah, 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 where the water canteens at? I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna need that. Uh, or that compass at, I got a compass. <laughs> y'all laughing, y'all ain't got no motherfucking compass. Like, y'all ain't got no compass. She thought she's dead Who got a compass? I heard that last show, somebody was like, I got one on my phone, bitch, the world is in it, your phone don't work. <laughs> You are not ready for the apocalypse. I know y'all ain't ready, because last time the shit went down, y'all went about toilet paper. Y'all ain't ready. Because if they said run north right now, y'all wouldn't know where the fuck to go, okay? I got a compass in my back pocket. I'm running north. And don't try and follow me, because I'm a zigzag. I'm a zigzag. I'm a... Y'all ain't, ain't catching me. Y'all ain't catching me. For real, I start getting my stuff together. Got me some nunchucks. <laughs> I don't know how to use them, but they look dangerous. If you run up, I'm gonna be like, back up, back up. You better back up, better back up. Because if the shit goes down, my friend's not about to occupy my one bedroom apartment. Like, fuck y'all. Y'all not about to occupy my balcony, the fuck? I can see it now, they all down on the ground. Brandy, help us. I'm, a, I'm up there with my Captain Crunch. You should have prepared! <laughs> my numb <nunchuck. laughs> Nah, I'm saving myself. Damn. Dating in your 30s is different. It's different from when you were younger. When you were younger, people could just like whisper sweet nothings in your ear. They just be like, <laughs> you be like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck. I'm on what you want. <laughs> When you get in your thirties, it's different. Like you gotta whisper real stuff to me. Like I'm in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> For real. I want two kids. I want to send them to private school. I'm like, damn. <laughs> making me moist, daddy. <laughs> I voted in the city elections. What? 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 <laughs> and not just like I voted, like I got a sticker I voted. Because y'all motherfuckers be love posting them stickers. Like, oh, I voted. You Christmas treat that voting poll. You don't even you don't even know who you voted for. But no, like I really voted. Like he knows the issues that he was voting on. Cause I feel like if you could listen to all these politicians and tour through their issues, then I know you can handle my baggage, baby. <laughs> the fuck I got a therapist for, okay? I saved $100 last month by telling my problems to my man. <laughs> I went to a, a women's health clinic. It was like 9 o'clock in the morning. I had an appointment. I'm standing outside smoking a vape pen. I know it sounded like I was under a lot of stress, but I wasn't. I was just smoking a vape. But it, I was, it was not a stressful day. So I'm standing in front of this clinic smoking this vape pen. And uh, like men do, he walked past and said something to me that he didn't even need to say. But... Um, <laughs> He walked past, he was like, hey, baby, you know you're too good looking to be smoking, right? I'm also too good looking for you to be talking to me, but since we're doing things we shouldn't be doing, like, what's up, bro? He's like, what you smoking? It's clearly a vape pen. It looks like a cartridge, a USB. Like, what do you think I'm smoking, right? But me being a comedian, I was like, ha, 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 I'm smoking crack. <laughs> like, I said this. <laughs> oh, Y'all, why this man say, oh yeah, and pull a crack pipe out his pocket? Oh, and was like, what's up, baby? What the fuck? Uh, I'm like, bro, I'm here to ruin somebody else's life. Now, and I pointed at the abortion sign. Uh, like, what? I wasn't there for an abortion, though. I was just there for birth control. But, like, what? And then it was, like, the way he asked me, like, I was really going. And then he, like, jumped in his van and was like, are you sure? And, like, I was like, yeah, I'm sure. Like, he acted like I needed a minute to think about it. Like, I don't need to second guess this decision. And then his van had curtains, so I know he lived in it because the curtains matched and they was on all the windows. And why would you interior decorate your van, unless it was your home. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, bro, I'm good. But that's <laughs> sympathy. Right. Uh, I've been living in LA for about four years now, and um, LA's fake happy. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of people are fake happy that it is turned around. Like, oh, manifest, manifest, manifest. <laughs> Crystal pickles, it's a full moon. Let's go hiking. Like, bitch, are you okay? Like, if I have another friend, give me some crystals for like my birthday or holiday. Like, cause I have so many on my bookshelf. It's just like, if you ain't got no money, just say that. Like, (laughs) quit giving me these rocks, bitch. They don't work, okay? I sleep with them in my bed. A man ain't up here yet. They in my panties right now. Where yet? Okay, like the crystals don't work. Like stop fucking giving them out to me. And they try to make you feel bad about working. Like so many people in LA don't work and it's weird. But when I first got out there, I was hustling. I had a couple of jobs. I was doing stand-up. I was doing Postmates. I was doing Uber. I was hanging out with a group of girls, one of which I thought was my friend. She wasn't. She was like, uh, so Brandy, her name was Jessica. It sounded like she was fucked up. <laughs> she was like, so Brandy, what do you do for work? I was like, oh, I do stand up, I do Postmates, and I drive Uber. She was like, ugh, Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Uber, Jessica, what you do? She was like, oh, me, I drive Lyft. I was like, bitch, that's the same thing. Like, <laughs> that's the same thing. <laughs> Before I moved out there, I was Wait a minute, though. Why she always got to... Like, she squats and shit. That shit funny as a motherfucker, though. Look. Hey, bitch, that's the same thing. Like, that's the same thing. Damn. The fuck? Y'all funny. Before man. I moved out there, I lived in Chicago, and I was a social worker. Yeah, I quit six years ago. <laughs> Followed my dreams. I'm gonna tell you, I quit the realest way too. I, I quit on some on some boss fit shit. Um, <laughs> if you watching this and you work at DHS, what's up? Um, <laughs> but no, like I knew I was gonna quit, but a week before I quit, I, I did like some just real arrogant shit. I got I do what I want tattooed on the back of my neck. <laughs> it just wore my hair in a ponytail to work for the rest of the fucking week. They were like, Brandy, can you fax these papers? I was like, no. (laughs) (laughs) It was real bad, but I liked working there, um, not because they paid me anything, but um, I liked working there because I used to get hit on a lot because I don't know if you guys have seen social workers, but like, I'm like a bad bitch social worker. So um, (laughs) I'm like at the top of the social worker chain. So like, I used to get hit on. by my clients, which was weird, because uh, it would always be after the interview, which is interesting, very interesting. You might have a lot of confidence to hit on your social worker after the interview. Like, you just told me that you live in an underpass, you haven't had a job, you can't feed you. I know you can't feed me. So. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Some of them clients have some swag, you know? Like, you could feel big, big energy. I don't care if you got a home or not. Like, they was throwing game, and I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But the best pickup line, I was sitting in my office. I was like, today is a good day, Michael. You've been approved for the food stamps and Obamacare. And he was like, that's cool, Miss Denise. And then he leaned back, and he licked his lips. And I was so happy that he licked his lips because he had that white shit in the corner. And I was like, I'm so happy that he did that. Because don't you hate when you saw him like that should be building up? It got me looking at it. And you're like, fuck, I gotta hear it. You started licking your lips like, or you, you ain't gonna get it. You just gonna let it sit there. You just gonna foam. You just gonna foam in the mouth. Okay, okay. Okay. So. It got me thinking, like, maybe I should get him my number because they really don't pay me that much. Like, and I did just give him a food stamp card with $917.13 on it. And, like, we could go on a grocery shopping day. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, I'm all in Whole Foods, and I'm like, baby, what a motherfucking lobster avocado is. He on aisle 17, you can have whatever you like. Just foaming at the mouth, but I don't give a fuck. He my man. You feel know I me? Mean? Oh. Damn. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> she's stupid, man. <laughs> she's stupid. Uh, That's how y'all be talking too, though. <laughs> That's real talk. Y'all funny, man. Women is funny. Y'all well, are. Okay, why are we funny? Because, man, y'all so emotional and, 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 and just, you know, y'all be all over the place sometimes. You feel me? Y'all don't even know, know why. That's what makes us interesting. That's why y'all that's why y'all is funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We sit back as men and just be shaking our head like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that must be rough to go through all that. <laughs> you feel me? Like all those different emotions and like, ooh, we y'all like, be mad at these y'all sales. But like. it's just it's funny because before we started this reaction, uh <coughs> You know, my hair, I have on a hat because I'm having a bad hair day, for one. And my hair, this hair was just so poofed up. And I, I, I told half, I'm like, so you, you're going to let me go on camera looking like that? And he didn't, he didn't understand that my hair was poofy. Like She must have forgot the time I went on camera just not too long ago. My hair was all toe up. No, I had on a face mask. I can't and braid my own my hair. Too. But I'm just saying, it's just funny that you guys don't see what we see. Yeah, you're right. You guys don't don't get it. Because y'all be I don't I don't know. I'm not gonna say y'all be worried about other what other females look like, but I guess, you know, the way society I guess try to make y'all how y'all supposed to look, y'all so worried about that, I think that's what it is. Like, no, it's just <clears throat> and it's not so much you worrying about, you know. What society has to say is just you want to be presentable. You want to. But you're, if you're presentable to everybody that you around or who loves you or whatever the case may be, like what else matters? I'm saying I'm getting on camera. This is. Not feeling. I know what I'm supposed to do, and you know what I'm saying. Like Not my hair was just look like I just got up out of the bed and just put a hat on. Right. You know. Right. You guys don't see what we Straight see. Thugging it. Right. I mean, I'm thugging it now, but you know. All right. Well. Yeah. Well, that being said, let's go do some shout outs. <laughs> First shout out goes to Juju. What's up, Juju? Juju. What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you. Hope you enjoyed that uh, that stand up. Mm, yes. Uh, Miss Brandy Denise. You know what I'm saying? She was pretty funny. Actually. She was. The second shout out goes to Baby Boy. What's up, Baby Boy? Baby Boy. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 What is that? Talk about Tyrese. What? Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, shout out to you, though, baby yes. boy, man. Hope you yes. enjoyed that stand up. Brandy Denise, we love y'all. Yes, we do. Appreciate everybody who come back and chat with us and, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all that good stuff. Yes. We'll catch y'all next reaction video, man. Yes. And if you feel like yourself, have yourself a mm -hmm. negative day, <laughs> tune in to Half and Jet. <laughs> Peace. Peace.